Hi everybody and a warm welcome back to Maple Leaf Customs. I'm Andrew and on the bench today is a rather elusive Alfa Romeo Giulietta SS made by a French toy company called Provence Moulage. Bet you don't have one of these. I've got two of them. About a year ago I acquired a near mint version of this exact same casting in a large eBay lot and more recently stumbled upon this forlorn specimen in a thrift shop. You can see some paint damage, missing wheels and one headlight, and although I'm a bit intimidated by this one, I'm going to give it a go today. Just a word about comments on my channel now. I appreciate all of my subscribers and viewers, and I want to thank you for the way you've interacted with me here. I always ask for you to leave respectful comments, and that's exactly what you do, even when you're pointing out my oversights. Super. Thanks to each of you for keeping this channel family friendly. Not once have I had to chastise someone or block anyone from my site. I've seen all out wars of words on other channels and I feel bad when that happens. Nobody wins those fights. By the way, I've read that YouTube is going to get rid of the thumbs down counter. <laughs> I applaud that move. I've got my share of thumbs downs, but that's a vestigial organ to me. I don't need it. I've never used it. I've moved on from some less than stellar videos, but I would never leave a negative comment or a thumbs down and hurt someone's feelings. So thank you again for making my experience of reading your positive feedback such a wonderful thing. The reason these models are hard to find, even for me living in Switzerland, which borders France, is that the Provence Moulage Company is insolvent, having been bought out and merged into the Norev Company. It's rare, possibly, but I'm not sure there's a lot of intrinsic value in it. This Giulietta is one of the early models, and it's made of plastic, with a one-piece wooden interior and chassis. The chrome add-ons more or less fell off while I was disassembling it, but they're mostly intact. So it's a new medium for me to work on today. I want to give a community shout out to Mike's Mods and Customs. I appreciate the great work that Mike is doing on his channel, and so that's why I invite you to go over there and give him a visit. You can follow the link in the description that I put there to make it easy for you to navigate your way to another family-friendly site. We're part of such a great hobby community, and Mike's might be the newest bookmark that you put in your browser. Tell him Andrew from Maple Leaf Customs sent you by. Thank you. The plastic body has come out of the first primer session and set up overnight and you see me giving it some wet sanding just to knock down the high points on there and of course it'll get primed again and look that much better coming out. The windshield is a very very thin plastic and it had a little bit of paint residue on that that I easily got off with a 50-50 mixture of nail polish remover and water and so it's totally reusable. I'm using a spray can today. This is a Tamiya Brilliant Red that I usually reserve for my Ferraris, but the Italian racing color is Rosa Corsa Red on all models, and so it's very appropriate here and was original to the one that I picked out of the thrift shop. The strip on the hood was not a chrome add-on, it's just a raised part of the casting, so I carefully masked that, very carefully masked it, and I applied a chrome paint pen to it and a little bit of a flare right where it meets the low nose. Hey, it looks great. Generally, for the chrome around the windows, I use a scraping technique, but in this case with a plastic body, it's not going to reveal the die-cast metal underneath. So once again, I took some extra time to tape this, and I ran my Molotow pen around the front and the back. And after unmasking, I'm very pleased with the result that I got, and I think it makes a 
a brilliant addition to the look of this car. And I put a little dot on the trunk latch and the badge as well. The Giulietta SS, which stands for Sprint Speciale, is a small sports car manufactured from 59 to 66. The first prototype of the car was presented in 1957 at the Turin Motor Show, but two more prototypes followed and the official presentation of the production version was in June 1959 on the Monza racetrack. I was able to source two wheels that I think are exactly right for this little sports car, though I had to fashion two new axles for them. And they simply fit in some slots. Back in goes the wooden refurbished chassis and interior. And you see I got a good roller here. I've taken time to refurbish all the little chrome bits and now I'm reapplying them carefully with some glue. I'm glad that it was almost all intact. One headlight was missing and so I have decided to put some rhinestones in here which on this size scale car look the part. And all that's left to do now is fabricate a new Alfa Romeo badge, glue it on to the famous grill piece, and I set that in place as well and center it. Little channel logo on the bottom and that's the finishing touch on the Giulietta SS. Let's have a closer look. Got a beautiful finish after a couple of coats of clear. The chrome pen trim around the front and rear windows looks the part, I think. And I've reattached the original license plate that came with it. And the chrome add-ons. And otherwise, you might not know, unless you picked this up and held it, that it was made of plastic and wood. So good for Provence Moulage and an old school model that can now be displayed proudly. It was in rough shape when I picked it up and I almost didn't, but because I had a near mint version I thought I'll give this one a try and I have to say I'm pretty stoked about how well it turned out. Such a beautiful Italian design from that era and the new wheels look the part, don't you think? really is a beauty. It's a little bit too delicate to go to the thrift shop for a little boy or girl, but I do have an adult collector friend who is going to be just as happy to receive this as a gift, so off it goes. Thank you again for visiting my channel today and for those respectful comments. Be sure to tell me where you're watching from. It's coffee time.